Now, Gary, you'll be a fashion plate when I get through with you. Here, slip your arm in this. Get too many buttons on. I'm with you, I'm miserable because I'm happy. And when I'm without you, I'm happy because I'm miserable. Say, what in the world are you doing here? Here, it's in the book from the radio school. Yes? That's gonna make us radio stars. Now listen, and if we're gonna be radio stars, we better hurry up before television gets here. Well, what's that got to do with it? Yeah, say, with television, the only chance you'd have on the air would be on a baby frightening hour. Would you mm -hmm. frighten babies without being on the air? Yeah? All right, all right, smartling. Let's rehearse the first lesson. I I'll be the woman. <laughs> Don't I look sexy? Huh? Mm-hmm. Whoop! Ha, Why don't you come down and see me up sometime? Hmm? Well, here, come on, now. Let's cut out this fooling and rehearse. You hold the book. Ah, oh, my beloved. Give me your lily white hand that I may feel the velvet-like skin. Here's a letter for you. A letter? Thanks. Who's it from? It's from the radio school. Right. And this what it says. Dear Mr. Sidney and Mr. Murray, we will let you know the results of your recent tryout as soon as an official who listened to it gets better. Hmm? I would have answered you sooner, but I too have been sick since your tryout. Very truly yours, P. Hughes. P. P. U. P. U. Say, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, that's right. I remember. When we were trying out, everybody was mentioning that name, P. Hughes. Say. We just got time to rehearse our Swiss imitation. Sure. Come on now. Now, are you ready? Ready. I, I suppose, suppose you know, know what this is. is. The, the truth, truth is, is we're a couple of Swisses, Swisses from, from the, the mountains you will hear. From the valleys you will hear. From, from everywhere, everywhere you hear. Yo-ho! 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 You don't seem to mind that at all. What did you say? 
Yes, hello, Mama. Hello. Well, oh. how things? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, Mama, did Junior get those radio tubes that I gave him the money to buy? He went out with your son? I suppose they got him. Oh, that's fine, because tonight is the lullaby boy's anniversary, and we got to hear him. <laughs> Tonight's my anniversary, too. It's one year since. Since what? Since you brought home some money. Oh. She's getting mercenary. Oh, sure, that's what you get from eating too fast. We should have bought those tubes. We've got to get them away from the radio somehow. What do we do? Uh, I can't seem to get station FOG. The lullaby boys ought to be on by now. Get them into a fight. That'll get them away. This is station FOG. The lullaby boys have not arrived yet. Meanwhile, for our remote control facilities, we are going to let you listen to a debate on the subject to short men spring from baboons. Like tall men do. Uh, that's silliness. Everybody knows that short men didn't jump from baboons. No. They stayed right in the tree along with the other apes. Short men are the smartest people in the world. You hear that? <laughs> According to short men. <laughs> that's rich. While in reality, it's the tall people who are real first class a number one idiots. Now you see? <laughs> hey, listen. I can lick any radio that ever lived and the man who owns it. Hey, but old friends like us, it's silly to fight. Just because your family came from chimpanzees? That didn't work. Maybe we can get them out of the house. Say, listen. Try the lullaby boys again. Yeah. Stand by, folks, for a most important announcement. We have just received word that the lullaby boys are sick. They say there must be a hypodermic in town, eh, Captain January? They have a peculiar disease which the physician informs us can be cured only by chicken soup. And Mama has made a whole gallon of matzo ball soup. Chicken soup with matzo balls is what the doctor has ordered. Now, this station makes this offer to the first two people bringing the soup to Fourth and Main. We will be met by the Lullaby Boys' special representatives and an opportunity for an audition to try out as radio performers. Could I take it down to him, Eddie Camper? Certainly, Guy. Uh, guy Lombago to you. Well, now, listen, don't okay. stand here now. You go and get the soup. All right, all right. This is our great chance. <laughs> hey, Skippy, should I bring spoons? You expect those guys to eat with their fingers like we do? My, but that Sydney is a dumb truck. You said it. What's that? You said it. A phonograph record has been requested. Now, now look. Oh, look at them matzo balls. I tell you, Aunt Jemima puts her heart in them. Mm -hmm. She must have put her shoes in these. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my extreme pleasure to have been associated with this industry for many, many years. But never, never have I seen a bank robbed with such neatness and dispatch. For our co-worker, Cokie the Killer, I have special praises to offer. I'm glad you're all pleased. I'm a new man in this business, and naturally I want to make good. At the stroke of 12, uh, the uh, loot, which now reposes in the safe, will be brought out from its hiding place and whacked up 10 ways. Bravo. Uh, yeah. I, I got, I got, I, I got the soup. I got the soup. Hey, hey look. Mark, Mark. That must be the radio manager's rally. Yeah, but where's the lullaby boy's representative? Well, how do I know? What do you think I am, a prophet? I, I got the soup. Yeah, I'll tell them well, you ain't no profit. You're total... Yeah, I got the soup. You're a total loss. What are you so jubbly about? You got fleas? No, I'm expecting a couple of eggs from Chicago with some soup to blow the safe. Then we can tell them we were robbed. You can't blow a safe with soup. Soup is nitroglycerin. Don't you know that? I got the soup. There they are now. I got the soup. I got the soup. I've been expecting you. Have we been expecting you? Oh. Come on, let's go. Oh, Hi, boy. Sure. Is this a place? Hey, where are the boys? In there. Uh, when do we do our stuff? Right now. Okay, brother. Hey, We're on our way to Dixie. As you can plainly see, we're bound for Alabama. Cause my wife's in Tennessee! Say, those guys ain't Yanks. They're entertainers. Are you dumb? They're posing as a couple of singers just to throw the boys off their guard. 
That's what I call brains. Say it! How are we doing? What else would you like? My little gray home in the West. Sure. Would you like to hear us sing it? No. Go back to it. Now, our next selection will be... Terrible. <laughs> uh, there must be a spy around here. Uh, just tell me, who is your favorite radio star? Mary Garden. Hey, she ain't on the radio. No, that's Mary Garden's perfume. Oh, like Christmas night? Sure. Didn't you ever smell Christmas night? Sure, the same as any other night. Uh, oh. No, no. Uh, Mary Garden's perfume is a no dirt. Oh. So are the both of you. <laughs> Do you read Winchell? What did he say? Do you read Winchell? No, I don't read Winchell, but I can speak it a little. No, he's a columnist, you chump. Winchell is the guy that knows the insides on all movie stars. Oh, he's a stomach doctor, huh? Well, do you want us to entertain you anymore, or do you not? Yes, we do not. <laughs> well, then, by popular request, we will continue with... Ed Wynn. Oh, oh that's, that's it. Fine. Ed oh, Ed Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, say, wait a minute, Chief. You got your hat on backwards. Oh, oh no, I'm just coming back from a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> We got some letters that just came in. We got to read first. All right, you can read them to me, uh, uh, whole wheat. No, 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 Graham, Graham. Oh, I beg your pardon. That's so it. Dear Chief, uh? I am 16 years old, very much in love with a boy who has one wooden leg. Nice work, boys. Did you, Did like, you it? like it? Perfect. They went for it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, <laughs> that? Now do your stuff. <laughs> Well, we just, we got, just got, got through. Sure. I mean the soup. Spill it on the safe and let her go. But spill the soup all over the safe? Certainly. What do you think? Mm, the sugar of tight. What? He's nuts. All right, he wants me to spill the soup, I'll do it. Hey, come on. Blow that safe. I want to get that dough. Say, what do you think we are, a couple of yeggs? No, just kidding. Ask him if we're going to get the job. Hey, are we going to get it? I'll say you're going to get it. I'll be right back. Oh, are we going to get it? After all these years, we're going to get it. I've been waiting for you guys. Say, there's a couple of guys there that I thought was you and I spilled the works to them. Don't let them leave here, get me? Come on, Dizzy. I want to get you out of here. At last we're a couple of radio stars. Yeah, I'll I tell you what I'll do. I'll bet you we get the long contract, huh? Uh, oh, are you the lullaby boys? Yeah. yeah. And we've come to put you to sleep. <laughs>
get the phone. Oh. What do you think? Uh oh. Uh, give me the police station, quick. Police department. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, uh, Bill. Police department. Oh, there was a dog a hack that's all the sick as fuck. Mention the dog is all the. Yeah, either talk English or put someone on the phone that can. You, you talk to Bill. Here's one of your countrymen, I guess. Take it. Hello? Say, I the host of Sach Solis. Come ahead, Don, and I'll tell you just exactly what is all star. Must be long distance, Jerusalem. <clears throat> Say, it's one of your countrymen. You take it. Well, my lady book, what can I do for you? Hey, don't, don't, don't you know your own language yet when you hear it? Hmm. Hey, hurry up, send up the policeman, quick, right away, quick. Oh, oh what service? There he goes. Sure. Who, the guy that's been giving those radio imitations? No, oh, that, that was, was us. us. There's been ten complaints about you, you're pitched. <laughs>